Hey there everyone, this is Lao Cow and we're playing some Kirby's Room Layer 3, the Adventure of a Lifetime. I don't know. There's a guy there, he has a little like uh Colin 3 mouth there, it's pretty great. Let's just go ahead and see what's his deal. Oh, we're in the, the transparent iceberg town. Actually that looks really nice. Well I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take an ice power in the ice land. Seems kind of silly though, although I Whoa! <laughs> ice, I was about to say ice cream ball. That's just a snowball. What's wrong with me? Hey there, guys. You're kind of hopping and I kind of flutter above your head. That's pretty great, EOC. It's pretty great. There's a little housey there. It's pretty great. Oh, what's, oh, I got a choice. Man, if you give me a choice, as ever, I have no idea what is coup and ice, so I guess we're gonna find out. Oh man, Catman, don't rage too much, but I gotta find out the truth. Oh wow, wait, what? I, I I need I need more airspace here. So let's see. Oh geez, it's a triple shot. That's quite violent there. And it's so strong that it destroys the world and most things beside. It's pretty great. Okay, so I already am seeing the limits, but then again, <laughs> just using my yeah, here I could be jumping or I could be, you know, just kinda cheating out with Mr. Owl. Owl man there! He's kind of ri ridiculously strong, and also with the triple shot, it, it, it doesn't like unhinder that at all. So man, I'm feeling like Cheater McChicken there, it's pretty great, that Papa there not so. What is he doing in a nice world anyway, like the vat of water on his head will freeze and he'll die or something, I suppose, I don't know. I kind of want the free life, so thank you very much, Mr. Star. And an owl prefers to fly than to swim, so we're just gonna go ahead and shoot that guy away for no reason. Hey there, Kappa. You just hurt me, and I just got scratched, and I got smashed. Now I have without animals again. It's pretty great. Or power, and or start from the beginning for no reason. Wow, that's... Oh, wow, not from the beginning. I'm from the beginning of this segment. I actually could use... Can I swallow underwater? Yes, I can. Drinking is something you can do underwater. I don't suggest it, unless you don't plan on surviving. But, you know, you can use cutter to... Yeah, this is auto-scrolling suddenly, at uh, a transition, because it's kind of a slow auto-scroll. And Curve is kind of a slow runner. It's very subtle, I didn't quite notice uh, at first there. So yeah, Standard Cutter, probably one of the best, like, standalone thing, I guess. Cutter and Fireball are my favorite... Oh, you're gonna be alone, power. Well, I, I, I kind of... Well, you're having some trouble rafting there, buddy? No, having a bit of trouble understanding concepts there. Well, I ain't gonna eat that apple. That apple ain't gonna eat itself either, so it's just gonna stay there, you know, in constant refrigeration. Frozenness is truly the key to immortality. Oh, the fishes, they destroy you even when they are dying, contrary to in Mario. That's pretty silly. Why, why would they do that? That's pretty silly, Quapa Man and Boat Guy there. Why would you come rafting on... On this icily sea triangle, that makes no sense. So these are ice crystals, it's pretty great. Just kind of drifting around in that way. It's kind of dangerous, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is not gonna help this place as a touristy uh, area. Especially if they have a random pink little globby guy going around destroying peeps with his boomerangs. This is some um, ice, it's gonna fall. This is the gimmick of this area, I guess. And because of our ability to slightly fly, we can go ahead and like decide where we're gonna go. So basically, this is not the world's most challenging area. Not at all. Mr. Iceman is gonna go ahead and destroy from behind. Oh, Gordo's trying to be sneaky, unfortunately. Heist has a constant uh, nagging habit of being transparent, so uh, we're just gonna have to hop and hop and hop. Wow, that sure was a thing. Hey there, buddy, you're dead. Pretty great. So, um, lots of junk in the ice, it's pretty neat. You know, it's ice, that's how you know it, it, it's real. <gasps> I got a power eye. Why are you giving me fish? You know what? I, I dislike that guy enough that I am willing... Ah! I don't think the designers of this game ever expected someone to seriously die there. And you both, both two can just all go to hell. I'm keeping the cat. <laughs> That hamster, why do I keep taking him when he constantly destroys me, totally unpurposeful? Oh, genies, I'm just gonna destroy your heads there, I hope you don't mind. Oh, man, 
the Gordos, they are getting sneaky, and so I'm gonna sneak away inside. Oh no, it's a mini game. What's what's a game? This is way too hard. Um. Well, yeah, but that's. That's way too hard, I. Wow. Um. So my silence there was because this is going to be nearly impossible for me because my recognition of sound really isn't that great. Uh, that's gonna be fun, right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Snowman? Hope you don't mind if I'm doing some bit of a Mario-style headache there. Oh, it was cute to see the little snowman guy, like, have this one animation used for diving in the water. I thought it was pretty neat, as I'm soaring above everything. Well, I mean, above everything, all there is is, like, little triangly, eyeling uh, little arrows, and... Oh, that's gonna fall. That was kind of, like, obvious to see, but looks like I'm refusing to learn anything. Also, you can just drink all the icicles if you want to. I suggest that to everyone. Hey there, animal. Yeah, cut her, cut her cat underwater does not work very well, so that's why we're just gonna jump over everything and kind of casually bounce. And not unlike uh, us, bouncing on an enemy re like resets your multi-jump, which is pretty neat. Now, Agatha is pretty neat. I like him. I hate you. So, uh, I'm not even le leaving my cat to you. and Instead, I'm gonna try and get that one up. I went in the exact opposite direction to get that one up. Way to go, me. Okay. Two. Four. Okay, that's the last one. As long as it's always the last one, I'll be okay. <laughs> last one. As long as it's the last one, I'll be okay. Oh no, I don't... Oh! Oh! Oh. Oh, then you gave me a little give there with the last one being the last one. Man, this is hard. Why do I have so much trouble with that? Ah, Experience Theater. What is Fish and Ice again? I don't remember. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Man, dude, I have half a mind to just leave you to fish, but, uh... Why would a cook want me to tune like match some tones? That makes no sense. I, 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 ah, uh, wow. So this is how it's like to be, say, I don't know, um, colorblind and having to do with a color puzzle or something. Oh man. Well, this is how Cal plays some Kirby 3. Enjoy you next time when, uh, Hey, we're done with minigames! <laughs> that is a reward in and of itself. Oi.